today. The season of love, romantic escapes, perfect for date night or to make any old night a standout. Travel with Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. Hi, and welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean Olale. You know, with Valentine's Day staring at us just a week away, we were inspired to look around to find some romantic escapes. We have claimed a corner of one of the really great places in Tulsa for quiet conversation. It's the back mm -hmm. patio of Gerard Vines. They are known for their Tulsa Deco wines, gourmet cheeses. I mean, look at this spread. This is gorgeous here. And we'll have a full story on this place in the near future, and I'm going to have to arm wrestle you to come back and do the story. <laughs> you will have to do that. <laughs> In the meantime, I think you found a unique table for two. I did. It's in a tucked away area called the Tavern on Brady. If you want to watch a master chef at work actually preparing your meal in the kitchen, no less, and be on a romantic date at the same time, the Tavern on Brady is the place to be. Good evening. How are you all doing tonight? It's called the Chef's Table, and it provides a unique dining experience for that perfect romantic date. We have two different tables, one seat six and one seat eight. And they're uh, welcome to order off of our regular menu. Uh, we do have a $40 table charge for that. Or they can choose to have our chef's tasting menu. It's $80 a person with wine pairing, and it's five courses. Five courses in which to sit and relax, to talk, to enjoy the view from the kitchen. Everything is right there in front of you. The cooks, the servers walking in and out, so it's high energy, yet entertaining. And so far, this has become a big hit with the customers. People just say that it's such a unique experience to get to see you know, the way your food is prepared from every station. There's the salad station, and then they see the fryer, and they see the saute line, and then we have the sous vide machine that the steaks are cooked in. And so they get to see all of that, and they get to see their plate sort of come together from, from all the different stations. It's, it's really neat for them. Here we have a grilled salmon over a root vegetable hash. It's topped with a heirloom tomato beer blanc. And for you, sir, we have a grilled pork chop that's served over a pumpkin mash with wilted greens, um, Stilton cheese, and a cranberry uh, apple compote. From the location of sitting in the kitchen watching the chef prepare your food to the location of the tavern itself, when you dine here, you're in for a memorable evening. The Brady District is alive with new restaurants, hotels, and clubs. In short, it's become a buzz area that's attracting a lot of attention and people. But even if you don't sit at the chef's table, eating at the tavern is a fine dining experience with a casual, cozy feeling. As for the food, whether it's roasted chicken or pork chop, mac and cheese, or their desserts, you just can't go wrong. By the way, the tavern has their very own pastry chef, and he makes everything from scratch every single day. The sides accompanying the main dishes are seasonal, so they do change. We call it upscale pub food. It's got the pub feel like McNelly, McNelly's has. We have fish and chips and the burger and bangers and mash, but we do sort of uh, a high-end twist on it. So we do everything here from scratch. We get nothing frozen, and we do everything as fresh as possible. The owners and chef of the tavern have reached a wonderful balance of high-end comfort food that has a nice, fancy feel to it. And it's all encompassed by a casual atmosphere from the dining room to the kitchen. Reserve the chef's table for your special dinner out by reservation. We'll have all the info you'll need on the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Deborah, Dorian, Curran, of course, uh, helped us with that story. They're native mm -hmm. Tolsons, and they happen to be the parents of our associate producer, Abby Curran. And we weren't through with them yet. We wanted to put together a dinner and a movie evening in Tulsa, so we asked them to help us one more time with the movie portion in the story you're about to see. So they're going to help us shine the spotlight on Circle Cinema, a Tulsa landmark since 1928. Our craving for movies, for tales of love, fantasy, crime, our craving to escape or to be entertained, well, it hasn't changed at all over the years. Movies are a combination of all the arts, and another thing that hasn't changed is the love of going to a movie on a date. Hollywood certainly has a long, exciting history, as does the Circle Cinema here in Tulsa. Built in 1928, silent films came first, then talkies, and now the films shown here reflect what I would call the art of cinema in the community. 
you know, the special thing is they're all hand selected um, for to to complete our uh, our mission statement, which is uh, community consciousness through film. So we show lots of documentaries, foreign film independence, um, and they're all they all fit under the uh, art house type films uh, titles, what we we call them. You want to impress a date, bring him or her to a movie at the Circle Cinema. It's off the, uh, the beaten trail. It's outside of the box. Uh, the, you'll definitely, you know, know if you can talk about an interesting thing, uh, the film, whatever, afterwards. There'll always be inter interesting conversation after. Um, I think it's a great place for sure. Take a date. And through the years, there have even been surprise wedding proposals done at the theater. You want to impress your date even more? Bring him or her to the art gallery here that changes out about every three months. We try to go kind of like lesser known artists and uh, it, the openings do really well and uh, it's just another way for us to kind of give back to our community. This gallery here, like it's getting like people that are coming to all different kinds of films that are exposed to this, this different this art stuff that they probably wouldn't go to an art show to see, you know. And just like the history of Hollywood has changed over the years, so has the Circle Cinema. They have a new screen and another one on the way. Construction begins soon on a new phase. The theater, much like many film stars, will be soon getting a facelift. We want to have everybody come here. Like we open the door, we show, we have tons of free events uh, where, you know, we, we go to, with like, uh, so we show a program called Community Cinema where we show a free, a free film to the community. And it's a preview screening of uh, the Independent Lens program that plays on PBS. And we'll, uh, we reach out to like another local organization, have them come and kind of speak about whatever the uh, film topic is. So take in a movie soon at the Circle Cinema, whether you're on a date or attending just for the love of film. And I hope you don't experience this while you're there or any other theater. Oh, you're gonna love this. Relax. Watch it. This is funny. This is really funny. Right. Watch it. This guy gets shot in just a second. Watch. Oh, oh, and this guy, he's the killer. He's the one that ends up. Just watch. Okay. Let me try. I'm really sorry. Really. Really. I can't talk now. I'm in a movie. I'll talk. Really? Okay. No, really. I got, I got to go. Wait. No, I got to go. Okay, bye. Sorry. Okay. Circle Cinema is so much more than a movie theater with ongoing special programs from opera to art galleries. You can cruise their website to find out all that's going on and we'll link you to it from the Discover Oklahoma page at travelok.com. And we have to give a quick shout out to our associate producer, Abby. She was the lady sitting next to me in that story. Putting up with with my shenanigans the in the movie theater. Dino yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you need to stay <laughs> snuggled up and keep the hand off the remote because I'm next not going anywhere. Trust me. <laughs> next, we're, next we're headed to Yukon. To show you the fastest way to somebody's heart, we're back in the kitchen expanding our culinary horizons with Triple A's Discover Oklahoma continues. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and found out they could save us money too. And so we ended up switching. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600. Any money you can save during the month and have some left over, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. We've reinvented the road trip. Come along for the ride. Approximately a year and a half ago, my friend Gary Wise, who I go to church with, had uh, become a AAA agency. And he had asked me, he said, let's just check, see what we can do. We tried to compare apples to apples to his current coverage. And uh, my premium went down $800 for the same insurance for this house. I was tickled. I mean, $800 is a lot of money. Go see Gary. Get your AAA insurance. It's, it's head and shoulders above the rest of the companies. 
Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, discovering destinations this week that inspire matters of the heart. That we are, just like the place we are tonight. It's Gerard Vines in Tulsa. I have just fallen in love with this place. <sighs> That's two of us. This is just, it's wonderful. And our Shell Wagner has fallen in love with the New Mexican cuisine of the green chili in Yukon. And when you hear more about the family behind this eatery, you'll see that love is a recurring theme. Sometimes the road home is unpredictable, full of unexpected twists and detours. For restaurateur Trevor Logan, the road home to Yukon came by way of New Mexico and California. When he left Oklahoma in the late 80s to attend college in Santa Fe, he hadn't counted on becoming so smitten. Kind of fell in love with the cuisine there and the culture. And the thing I think that's most distinctive about New Mexican food is the chili. So that's really what makes it the, the Southwestern um, chilies. After college, Trevor moved on to San Francisco where much to his dismay, he couldn't find the New Mexican flavors he'd come to crave. So with Oki Ingenuity, he started importing those products himself. A green Chili Kitchen. Originally, it was conceived to be more of a, a specialty market, and so it just grew into a full-fledged restaurant. Word soon spread, and among San Francisco foodies, Green Chili Kitchen became a favorite. But before you book your flight to San Francisco, I should tell you that Trevor, along with his parents and siblings, has opened another green chili kitchen much closer to home, in their hometown of Yukon, right along Route 66, in a building you may remember from the 60s and 70s as the Chateau Inn. But the building, as it stood in 2012, wasn't quite as swanky as the Logans remembered. Uh, it had been sitting empty and closed for several years and so we had, it was quite a challenge. Luckily, brother slash co-owner Trent Logan knows a thing or two about building CPR. Sister slash co-owner Tara Peters left a career in education to manage the day-to-day -day operations here, and mom Sherry and dad Bill have also done a lot of pitching in. But all agree that it is a family member who is no longer here that has perhaps contributed the most. Grandma Weezy has just instilled this place in us that we can all access, which is just, you know, that love for family. Grandma Weezy, Eloise Rose to you and me, passed on just as Green Chili Kitchen's Oklahoma location was getting on its feet. But she lives on in the homemade pies and in lots of other ways too. At the end of the day, what we have is love between us. And we all have such a clear vision of that. And it's such a priority that everything else falls into place. And I think that we really were taught that by our grandmother. That love goes into every entree. And you can get right off the rotisserie, a half chicken with a salad or beans and rice with um, maybe calabacitas or green chili mashed potatoes. But I really love the green chili stew. We also do a fasole, which is great, as well as the flat or home style enchiladas. Now, if you have ties to Yukon, you'll notice some pretty familiar hometown references on the menu. There are specialty drinks named after beloved icons like Mulvey's, Kolaches, Rick's Donuts, even one called Otasco. And we thought, well, how fun would it be to name some drinks after the old businesses that we remember as kids? It may seem improbable that some misty childhood memories, a grandmother's wisdoms, and flavors discovered on a distant road could blend together to create a dining destination. But that's exactly what has happened. And here's to hoping your path also leads you to Green Chili Kitchen sometime soon. In Yukon, I'm Shell Wagner. Fall in love with New Mexican cuisine at Green Chili Kitchen in Yukon and take home a green chili apple pie of your own. Their hours and menu are on their website and we'll link you to it from the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Up next, dinner and a show. All under one roof, we are serving up nostalgia by the plateful when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues in two short minutes. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it. And so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. And so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up. And when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our 
car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. Our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, discovering date night destinations this week. And this next one sometimes surprises folks a little. It is difficult to find an honest-to-goodness dinner theater these days. That is unless you head to more. Yellow Rose Dinner Theater serves up some tasty recipes and a good dose of nostalgia. It's a typical Friday evening at the Yellow Rose Theater and more. Folks are filling in to have their picture taken with tonight's performer. And tonight, that performer is Elvis. And not just any run-of-the-mill Elvis, either. And the Elvis that we have is a three-time grand world champion. Johnny Luce is their Elvis. And to close your eyes, you'd swear Elvis never left the building. Johnny was once one of the only performers at the Yellow Rose Theater who was not an Oklahoman, but after years of traveling the country impersonating the king, Johnny and his young family decided on Oklahoma as their home base. That's right, spread the word. Elvis is alive and well and living right here in Oklahoma. But he's not the only one. This is Oklahoma talent. You know, to me, that should be so fascinating. We've got a guy who does uh, Ray Charles, Sammy Davis Jr., Nat King Cole. He's phenomenal and he's Oklahoma talent. We have what's called a theater troupe. So there's like 60 of us in this theater troupe, and then we all just play different roles, do different things. We're trying. Timothy Vanover and Christopher Colley are the genius behind the Yellow Rose. They met 25 years ago in the Oklahoma City radio business, and they've been friends ever since. Really, friends is kind of an insult. We really a whole lot more like brothers. Timothy writes and directs the shows. He's written 16 plays to date. That's what I love about the Yellow Rose Theater and about the, the plays that Timothy has written is that you can be funny and you can be cutting edge, but at the same time, you can be clean. It can be something for the whole family. Christopher, meanwhile, takes care of theater operations. I want to welcome you all to the Yellow Rose Dinner Theater. We are Oklahoma's only permanent year-round dinner theater. And that includes overseeing the kitchen. If you've ever heard of the Yellow Rose Dinner Theater, chances are you've heard about the extraordinary food. And then also we thought, just quite honestly, well, if the show wasn't that good, the food would at least be really good. You know? Believe me, it's good. The meal starts with fresh, hot bread, your choice of mango or cinnamon-infused butter, and a crisp salad, followed by a heaping helping of perfectly prepared meats and veggies. And on the evening we visited, the potato casserole was, well, it was just to die for. But save room for perhaps the most talked about aspect of this experience, dessert. We give you like five or six really great big desserts to choose from. Real cream and rich dark chocolate tangy key lime, and apple pie with crust so light and flaky it could compete with mothers. Just a nibble here and a decadent forkful there, and any New Year's resolution was out the window. With my sincerest apologies to Mayor Cornette, I'd have to say in this instance, I think a little binging might be in order. You'll get the pre-show dinner with a bottomless beverage, the main show, dessert and coffee, all for one price. It makes an impressive date night or bring the whole family and have an evening to remember. It's the best entertainment, the best food you can get right here at the Yellow Rose. <laughs> well, I'll sure remember it as I'm spending a few extra hours on the old rowing machine, and I'll remember the silky voices of Elvis and Ray. I said now, Georgia. And this high energy night of nostalgia. And I'll look forward to the next original show and the next opportunity to visit the Yellow Rose Dinner Theater in Moore. Stay right where you are because up next, where do you want to go if you really don't want anyone to find you? We're going to tell you about a tucked away cottage where you can really lose yourself. Coming up on Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. In early April of this year, we had one of the most violent hailstorms I've ever seen in my life. And my wife called me and you could hear the noise over the telephone. By the time I got home, got out here from town, there was hail everywhere, baseball, size hail, golf ball everywhere. Uh, my truck was beat to pieces. It was, it was a pretty violent hailstorm. I called my AAA agent, Gary Wise, a friend of mine, asked him what the procedure was, give me the phone numbers, we need to turn this in. We hope to always be there whenever they need us, and that, that is the most important client that we have, is the one that we're talking to at the time. I feel AAA has treated me with the utmost respect. I feel like they were 
went above and beyond to be respectful of our, our time and our property. AAA definitely is there for the right reason. The president of the insurance company called and asked, you know, what could, what could they do to help Woodward and help our clients in their time of need. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes our show possible and does a lot of other great things around this state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. One of the leading causes of crashes on the road today is distracted driving. Now that everybody texts as a way to communicate, many feel obligated to text while driving. In fact, drivers who text are 23 times more likely to crash or get into a near crash situation than drivers who are not texting. Texting drivers take their eyes off the road, their hands off the wheel, and their minds off of what they should be doing, driving. That's why AAA strongly supported House Bill 1316 to make texting while driving illegal in the state of Oklahoma. Though the bill didn't pass this year, AAA is determined to ultimately see an anti-texting law passed. It's against the law to drink and drive. It should be against the law to text while driving. Be smart, don't text and drive. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. Sometimes the very best Valentine's Day gift can just be some uninterrupted time. Amen to that. You have three kids, I have three kids, so nobody knows more <laughs> than we do about that. And I'm happy to report our next destination delivers on that tucked away concept. Rochelle Wagner, who considers herself a bathtub aficionado, says the Lindley House Garden Cottages in Duncan score top marks for beauty, privacy, and especially bathtubs. On a quiet lane right in the heart of Duncan, Lindley House is a breathtaking English cottage style home on two acres surrounded by gardens. This house was built for a doctor in 1939 and still today it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Come see what I mean. Dr. Lindley uh, built this house because he had a hospital next door and it was out in the country at that time and he didn't want to drive all the way out or he wanted to walk to work so he um, built this house and built the gardens around it. So it's ironic that some 70 years later, Cecil and Debbie Brewer, though not doctors themselves, can so seamlessly carry on the tradition of rejuvenation and healing in this very spot. People come here feeling like they've, they've um, taken a mini vacation, and we, we feel like we have have a great place to offer that. Lindley House has four rooms in the main home, including two suites, along with three cottages in the gardens, and each has a private bath. All the rooms have a few extra amenities, like a refrigerator stocked with water and pop and robes and uh, just a lot of little things that we try to add special touches to make it very comfortable. When it comes time for the breakfast part of the bed and breakfast equation, Debbie and Cecil still have guest comfort in mind, and so they give the option of dining privately. If they want to eat in here, that's fine, but a lot of people kind of have a, they're, they're uneasy about meeting a bunch of new people in the morning and eating with a bunch of people they don't know. So we also um, offer delivery of their breakfast to any room that they're in. It's all part of their master plan and the original mindset behind this particular paradise. And it turns out that, in this instance, it is pretty apparent that the doctor certainly did know best. At Lindley House Garden Cottages in Duncan, I'm Shell Wagner. Well, that's our show for this week. We're glad you came along. We hope you've enjoyed these heartfelt destinations. And we want to give a big thank you to Gerard Vines on East 3rd Street here in Tulsa for hosting us tonight. I'm really looking forward to coming back and doing the story on this place. You dream on, baby. <laughs> that's my story. I'll be the one that's coming back. And we hope you'll join us next week. Next week, from land and sea, your outdoor adventure awaits, starting in Perry at a most unusual farm, then cast away with the Bassmasters event at Grand Lake of the Cherokees, and round up some catfish in Seminole. Hope you'll join us.
So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. 